Welcome back everyone. So Figma has recently launched a beta version of its interactive components feature. And since I have signed up as a beta tester, I got a chance to play around with this feature. And here is a quick landing screen I created using the new features here. And as you can see, this is only a single frame here. I don't have any multiple frames. All I have is multiple components and variants here and just a single frame. And once I try to play this, so as you can see, you have the small micro interaction which says try now, which basically indicates that this object here is interactable for the user. And the user can interact with this and understand how the app works and how is the interactions and all that. So all this adds up to the user experience of this landing page. And along with that, you also have this scroll down interaction, micro interaction happening. And also if you notice the background, this mesh gradients are actually animating. So as you can see, all this is created using the new interactive components feature. So in this video, I'll quickly run through how to create this, but this is not going to be a detailed tutorial because I plan on making a detailed tutorial once the public version is out. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are on Figma. I just have a basic design already set up here so that we can continue on this. And if you're already signed up for the beta version of this, uh, you, once you go to prototype tab, you should be able to see this new box here which says interactive components in beta. So make sure this is enabled before you get started. So getting back to the design here, I just want to make this box here or the frame here as a component and then make this interactive. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just click on this frame and right click make this as a component. So let's just take this outside and create variants for this. So this is a frame and once you click on this variance plus button here, a new variant gets added. So on click of this checkbox, I just want to strike out this text for which I already have all the layers and all that stuff. So if you see here, I just have a line to check out this one and I have the tick mark here. So all this is already set up. So I'm just gonna edit what I want it in the next variant here. So in this case, I want the green uh, thing to be visible and change this to a full size here. So there you go. And then in this case, I already have a mask layer right here. So once this opens up, you'll see that this gets striked off. So I just want these two interactions to happen on click of this. Now all you got to do is just click on this, go to prototype and add a link to the next one. So this is a new thing as you can see here, change to. So this is a new option that gets added and change to variant two. You can name your variants and you want smart animate to be turned on, on click, yes. So let's link this back to this one and that's it. You just created an interactive component right here. So let's see how this behaves. So I just uh, click on alt or option and drag one of the instance to this one right here. And you can, you know, create multiple instances. There you go, it's all set up. Now let's try to preview this and see how this behaves. So there you go. Oh, once I click on this, you can see, I can again click it. That just goes off. That is uh, one way to use it. You can have multiple states and all that stuff. Uh, so there are a lot of possibilities uh, that you can achieve with this. So let's try to add this onto a landing page and see uh, what all we can do out of this. So I'll drag this frame onto this one right here. So this is just a basic landing page that I quickly created. So what we can do is just put it here and you know duplicate one more instance. You know you want to add a different screen there but this is just a sample that I'm showing here. So once you preview this one you'll be able to see that this is a landing page and you'll be able to interact with this one. So that's a cool thing. And later on, you can add those uh, different things like uh, scroll down and all that. So let me just show you that one also. So I'll take a quick uh, frame here and then uh, just type in scroll down. And then we can quickly take in a pen tool and create a small arrow. So we'll quickly turn this into a component. So I'll say create component and you want to add a new variant. So a new variant is added. And in the second state, you want this arrow to go a bit down like this. Okay. So you want to add an interaction on the first variant here. So once I click on that and add it to the next one, you want the interaction to happen after delay because you don't want to click it. It should keep animating there. So that's uh, smart animate and you want to change it to variant two. All good. And we'll link this back to this one again. And same thing, you want it to happen after delay so that there's a continuous loop of animation between these two. So that's it, we are done with this. Let's see how this is gonna behave. So I just add an instance of this onto the screen here. I'll just center align it. That should work, I suppose. So let's see how this is gonna behave. So there you go, guys. You have this cool animation. The timing is not uh, proper, it's too fast. You can fix that, but as you can see, that interaction goes on happening there. And similarly, uh, you can, you know, say that this is interactable by adding something like this. This is something I already created. So I'll just add an instance of this one also here. So let's check how this is gonna behave now. So I click on preview right there. And there you go, guys. You have this cool interaction saying try now, and you have this scroll down 
and you know you can add a whole uh, landing page you can increase the size of this one you know uh, increase the frame size and you know you should be able to scroll it and have your complete landing page uh, without uh, distorting any of these interactions here so everything is going to work with a single page which is really amazing and these are just a few examples but the possibilities are really endless so that's it for this video guys i hope you found it informative and helpful thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.